Hi, I'm Patricia Allingham Carlson, and this is my video of how I painted Orange Sky Study. Looking through some contacts at local photography, I again came upon the photographer Leah Gilboa Hill and saw a picture she'd taken that was so very striking. I was so moved to paint it. I asked for permission and she granted it. So before I started to paint, I decided I would do a study. The study was to try to see what colors I would use for the real painting, how I could capture that light that she had captured, and how to set up the composition. Artists have been making preliminary studies for paintings throughout history. My professors used to call them cartoons. Anyway, I wouldn't call this a cartoon because it's not really a sketch, but it is a study. I hope you enjoy it. Let's paint. I was testing out some colors on a practice piece of paper. Well, I decided let's go for it. Let's do the whole composition. So I laid in some blues, cobalt blues. I came in with a little bit of permanent rose a lot of cadmium yellow, and then I mixed permanent rose with the cadmium yellow to make orange. Next came a row of trees in the distance, and I used mainly mauve for these trees. I painted them in, I scratched up with the end of my brush, and I left one little section just over the hill where the sunshine was rising. Here I'm using a darker shade with mauve, purple lake, indigo, and a little bit of Payne's gray. And again, I'm painting in the trees. These trees are going up the hill, so they're getting taller as they go. I want to make sure that that color of orange shows through the trees. So I'm developing them much darker at the very bottom where the hillside is. After it dries a little bit, I begin working through the sun area. The trees are so bleached out by the color of the sun that they're being done in permanent rose and a little bit of purple lake. I also, also soften the white edge of the sun. And then with a very thin brush, I come in and begin to add some extra twigs and small branches along the top. This was a study. This was not something I was taking seriously, so I just painted and had a blast. And sometimes those kind of paintings come out so nice that you want to keep them too. And so I did with this one. I also laid in a little row of posts along the front of the snowy slopes. Where the fine branches go against the brightest parts of the sky, I am doing them in vermilion and a little bit of permanent rose. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed my video Orange Sky Study. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you ring the bell at the bottom, you can subscribe and not miss any future videos. There's some other links below too. There's some one to my Facebook art page, my blog, products I like to use, and to art products that I sell as well. I'd love to hear from you. Any comments are appreciated, and I will certainly try to answer them all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.